please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa, Ejo, e subscribe, subscribe, eh, hete. Face TV. Uswobi. Yes, the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, Yeson Wiki, says he will get all contractors back on site under his direct supervision and the office of the Minister of State. Wiki, who stated this at the opening of a meeting with contractors handling different projects in the FCT, added that Abuja would soon become a construction site, as promised. He said after our inauguration, we outlined our short, medium and long-term plan to reposition the capital city after which we went out to inspect projects that were awarded before us but abandoned for one reason or the other. The time has come for action. That is the action man. Mr. Wiki recently had shown that he has the capacity and capability to deliver when it comes to projects. No wonder he was given Mr. Project by the former administration, that is President, former President Muhammadu Buhari. He has uh, been vocal and also been active amongst most of the ministers. When you talk about hit the ground running wiki is one man that has begun to hit the ground running yes i think the president bola metun will be very 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 proud of him uh, because he is uh, going to be among the ministers that will have a good report and also uh, put Tinubu in good light because uh, what Tinubu needs now is that his ministers will deliver and that is what uh, Wike is doing. As governor of River State, you can see what he did and the uh, construction, the buildings, the project he uh, conducted while as governor in River State. He is coming to replicate that in the federal capital territory. Uh, very sorry for those that are having buildings that are marked for the demolition I think Wiki is a no-nonsense person and would not allow anything that would hamper on the master plan of the FCT. Everybody is working towards delivering as a minister. I think Wiki on this one is a big kudos to him. He said, first of all, on the Metro Light Train, President Bola Tunubu has given us a matching order that he wants to ride on the Metro Light Train. So it is a key project that we must achieve, he said. A metro light train will ease transportation. Abuja is long overdue for such project. And I believe the APC is going to pull this out. They are going to win the hearts of uh, the people, especially from uh, Abuja and the FCT. So the metro light train will be a very, very remarkable achievement of the Bola Tinubu's administration. Kudos to Wike. I love his action. I love his commitment. I love his uh, determination. He said, um, as the president wants to ride on that blue metro light train, it is going to be a key project that we must achieve. We added that Tinubu had equally complained about abandoned projects, particularly roads that were part of critical infrastructure, describing road networks as key infrastructure that makes a city. The minister pointed out that the issues of sanitation, street lights, and shanties were being addressed. But the roads are very key, and so we are trying to see how we can map out strategies and structure funding so that we do not have problems with completion. He said, I am determined to get every contractor back on site uh, with direct supervision from my office and the office of the Minister of State. The major problem we are having in this country is the problem of supervision, and so we are not going to tolerate anything below standard. If there are people you have been working with that have compromised standards, too bad, too bad not with me i'm not going to accept anything that is below standard he said if this is a uh, wicked speaking then we are in for a new nigeria a progressive nigeria starting from the fct the fct needs to be the face of the country anyone that is coming through into Nigeria needs to look at the FCT and say Nigeria is a beautiful place. Wiki as minister will really, really, really change the face of infrastructure in the FCT. He said supervision is very important when it comes to uh, restructuring and also uh, building projects. He said that the ministry would not fund projects based on only on the national budget, adding that projects would also be funded with resources from the internally generated revenue. That is the IGR. He said, I want to achieve results, so I will not award a contract when I do not have money to fund it. So we are going to fund you and you will tell us the time within which the project will be completed. If we agreed to three months, it is three months. If I give six months, it is six months. 
we do not want to hear this did not happen i do not want to hear any excuses at all wicked told the contractors he assured that the commencement of all abandoned projects will be going on as quick as possible in all the sections of the fct stressing that uh, the measure will create employment that is a brilliant one from wiki commencement of the abandoned project will create employment project in all sections of the fct not only fct all over the country i believe this ideology by wiki is something that every other minister governor should uh, emulate because abandoned projects have become a cash cow for politicians politicians will come into power and the one before them whatever project he has done whatever things he has carried out they will abandon the project and leaving wastefulness the leaving the state the country into debt so wiki has surprised everyone at this point in time within a month of his assumption of office you saw that building that collapsed in abuja you see you saw what he did how he rallied around how he was able to pay the hospital bills of those that were injured how the owner of the building was arrested that is what we call governance wiki as governor of the fct is behaving as a governor he's not behaving as a politician as a governor a democratically elected governor kudos to wiki for hobnobbing with contractors and also saying that he's going to supervise every project that is being given to them and there will be an agreement that if it is one year it's going to be one year it is if it is two years it's going to be two years whatever money they're asking for they are going to get unlike what happens in the civil service if you are going to bid for a contract some people want to inflate the contract and want to make you do their bidding some of them want to make a, a proxy company whereby they award themselves the contract at the end of the day they don't carry out the project but this one Tinubu is coming out on social media to tell people that this is what we are going to do and i believe the media they are going to follow up in every section sector of the fct however in another news we know that the federal executive council uh, on monday unfolded a three-year economic revival plan to address the social and economic challenges affecting the country now the president addressing the ministers admonished them to achieve the first phase of his administration eight point agenda within three years he asked the members of his cabinet to work hard to revive the country's economy because nigeria is in a difficult time now the president said the ministers have the capacity to make a difference in the ministries being assigned to oversee he said we shall evolve a homegrown re-engineering of our finances a reimagined stewardship of our resources and we will let the economy work for the people of this country there are so many things we can and will do yes some cynics will say it is impossible but in your own dictionary of service everything is possible and it must be possible he told the ministers and other cabinet members emphasizing that anyone thinking that appointments are fixed term appointments was mistaken the president expressed confidence that the carefully selected cabinet members knew that his governance is a new one with a new approach and mandate to deliver for nigeria without any lamentation or excuses so this admonition by the president to ministers i think is going to get the ministers on their toes it's going to get them hit the ground running just as what wk is doing is going to make ministers be on their toes and make sure they don't sleep on their jobs he said what you have as a portfolio is not permanent if you underperform you will be kicked off i think that is governance that is when we talk about governance this is what we call governance i know the politicians when to do and how to do it just because most don't have the political will the president Bola to be showing political will and he's uh, encouraging these ministers he said he knows that they are skilled he knows that they have intellect and he knows that they have experience so he is he's charging them that it is possible to revive the economy i think this is a big one a big one for the apc apc is becoming a party that is uh, not sleeping and is uh, committed to deliver the dividends of democracy now time has come for action uh, first of all on the metro line those of you who had what mr president said yesterday he did give a marching order that he wants to ride on the metro line and so it's a key project that we must achieve we also have found out that a lot of residents have complained about the abandonment of projects in terms of road infrastructure one basic thing that people understand that make a city is the road uh, network 
We're handling the issue of sanitation. We're handling the issue of uh, street lights. We're also handling the issue of uh, shanties and the rest of them. But the road, the roads are very key. And so we're trying to see how we can map our strategies, structural funding, so that we don't have problems of completion. So we are determined, serious, to make sure every contractor goes back to site. Not just going back to site with direct supervision from my office and the office of the Minister of State. The major problem we have had or we are having in this country is lack of supervision. Please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa, and your subscribe, subscribe, and hit it. Face TV. Swoobie.